If you're easily offended, go f yourself. And then tune in to the Bitchlorettes. Previously on the Bitchlorettes. I could fall in love with all three of you. Who's the best kisser? That's a tough one. Only I can go rogue. Don't you know? I would love to bring Ben home to my family, um, although I'm unsure how they're gonna react to an alcoholic. Why does a white girl want to be another white girl? The other girls are just jealous. I can't believe what is going on with Token. It is so unfair. Have I heard of the word quota? You know what? It is so stressful being in that house with all those girls. They're not even women, they're girls. Tonight, it's Sarah Palin Tells All. Yeah, can I get a, a, a little diet soda before we start? And where's my teleprompter? I need a teleprompter. Okay, no, we're not gonna have one? Okay, all right, well, you know what? When you do a close-up, make sure you don't get too close on this side because uh, we don't have enough money for Botox this year. That campaign was just, just a wash. So, all righty, ready to go? So how do you feel about Ben? Ben. Oh, the boy in the other room. Oh. Yeah, um, Ben, he's a great, great guy. Yeah, I think he's gonna make an excellent VP. But this is a show about marriage. Well, I'm married. Okay, so what tabloid magazines did you read to prepare yourself for The Bitchlorettes? Oh, that's a gotcha question. I know where you're going with that, mister. Well, any of them, Chris. All of them. A vast variety. Name one. You know, the big ones. The, uh, highlights. I read highlights. And, uh, oh, that Teen Beat. Now, Teen Beat is where you can get some really good facts. And Facebook, that, that picture mahoozy thing. Ooh, but those highlights, they have that hidden picture, and that is a doozy. That's just a doozy, Chris. You gotta be careful on those. Might take you two hours. Can't even write a speech. Gotta find that little pencil. Did you connect with any of the girls in particular in the show? Uh, did I connect with any of them? Well, only the ones that voted for me. Yeah. And half of them were illegal, so that didn't count. Did you vote for her? Uh -huh, hell no, girl, I don't vote. That's right. Independent. Mm. That means you don't vote. Well, I'm not legal, so. And the Latina, you know, I think she's gonna name her baby Palin. Dos amigos. So yeah, we connected. Is she gonna keep that baby? She's eight months pregnant. I think she's gonna keep it. Good, because that would look terrible for my campaign. You know I'm pro-life. Oh, are you running as an independent? No, sweetie, I'm married. She's just trying to get with a baby daddy. I mean, Ben should be the baby daddy. That's just, when he's done running as VP, as my VP, I'll let him support her. Ah, uh, no me importa about Ben, porque all I need is health insurance. What does Ben bring to the table in your political campaign? Ben brings a lot of wine to the table because he owns a vineyard. I don't know if you oh, know very, that. Very it's true. really yummy. I mean, I only drink diet soda, but um, when we cut, it's all wine from there on out. Yeah. Did you have any physical interaction with Ben? I did. I did. We square danced once. We, we did, you know, the do -si do and we... You know, did the arm thing where he spun me around. He's a great dancer, that Ben. How do you feel that you and Ben would make a good team together? We would make a great team together because he is a maverick. Have you seen him from behind? Mavericks look like that. Are you going to run in 2014? I am going to run, Chris. I, I've been training and training. I mean, I'm hoping to do a 5K. So I was going to run in my heels. Yeah, because you know I got to wave and do the flag thing and... That's true, that's a part of it all. Yeah. You do have great legs. Thank you. Very welcome. should see my caboose. Oh dear. There's been a lot of comments on the internet about your figure and about your physical presentation. What does Sarah do to keep in shape? 
Well, Sarah, me, Sarah? That's right, you, Mrs. Palin. Oh, okay. Um, I like when you call me Mrs. Palin. That's pretty hot. Um, what do I do to maintain my diet? Well, Chris, it's a lot of vomiting, really. Just um, excreting. It sounds like a very wild, yeah, wild cutie. way. Cutney taught me how to do it. She's like, I'm a model, and this is what you do. You eat a pizza, and then you throw up. I was like, that's so cute. Pew, pew. And she's doing this with the lips. So have you served in the armed forces? I have very forceful arms, Chris. I do. I mean, I am always waving that flag back and forth for these people. I just, I don't know what to tell you. The armed forces, you know that Jack girl. She has some forcey arms. I mean, I don't know what she's doing to do that workout, but I gotta get on that regiment. What sports do you enjoy? Well, I enjoy hunting. Hunting's a sport. You should mount a deer's ass. It's amazing. When is your next hunting trip? Oh, it's gonna be at the rose ceremony, Chris. Pew, 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 pew. So you own a gun? Oh, I own several guns. I have one in my purse right now that should not be allowed here. Um, disregarding all that, what, what other guns do you own? I own a big rifle, which is usually for men that piss me off, and running mates. <laughs> but then I have to be way up in this window really high, which is bizarre, because you know I don't like getting up that high. I, I mean, unless I'm doing the pot. So you've killed before? Yes, and I'll kill again. <laughs> So what about the Sarah Palin show? Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, it's not called The Bitchlorettes, because if it was, that'd be my running mates. <laughs> Sarah Palin, what do I say about that woman? What does she look like? Because there's so many white girls, and they all look alike to me. What? She's got a decent body for an old broad. Palin? We don't like her. Mrs. Palin? Wow. I don't really care about her. I think she's retarded. Why don't you study up before you give me an interview? I just don't have time for this. We're doing the best we can, Sarah. We're doing the best we can to get everything to your liking on this show. You're crying, Chris. Why are you crying? I'm very sad at all the things you said about me and this show. You're sad? You're sad because you're not going to have a f***ing job anymore, Chris. That's why. Because it's going to be the Sarah Palin show. That's so, part of it. So we're not going to call it the bitch Lorettes. No, we're going to call it the pain Lorettes. That's right. Pain in the is Lorette's. I, I think you owe me an apology. I got your apology right here. See that, America? Palin's got arms. She's got strength. And she will kick some ass for you, America. So vote for me. Tune in to the rose ceremony and find out whose water breaks. Why does a parole officer show up? Who can bust out the most push-ups? He'll pick me. Do we even have roses? Pew, 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 pew. Will ABC learn anything from this show? Do I get fired? Who the f cares? On the bitchlorettes.com. <laughs>